YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Dedrick Elix Jr., and I'm back with another fragrance video. All right, so very exciting video today, Smell Good family. Um, just a wild moment for me. So I was contacted uh, by the good people over at Argos Fragrances, okay? So I've had some conversations and, and some live streams wrapped around Argos, and um, they, they must have saw it. They reached out, and uh, they offered to send me uh, some fragrances, man, the Discovery set and some other things. So um, I'm here to talk about three of them today. Um, now, you know, Argos has really uh, is earning a very good reputation. I'm a fan of things like Trial of Bacchus, uh, Danae, um, uh, okay, Basial Immortel, I believe that's the name of it, and several, several other fragrances from the brand. So I'm very excited that they reached out to me and they sent these over my way. And uh, we're going to talk about three of them today. So before we get started, as always, Smell Good Family, hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing great, fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we give it up. All right. So today, these are the three fragrances that we are going to talk about. And such a fan of the artistry and all of the, the hard work that goes into the presentation of Argos. I'm a sucker for great presentation and they totally nailed it even with the discovery set the sample packs i've seen i don't have a full bottle of, of argos just yet but i will <laughs> i will have a few um but um i'm just so grateful i get a chance so first up we're going to talk about this one these are from the brand new uh lineup from argos so we have fall of phaeton i believe that is that's the Here's the first sample card that I have. Beautiful artistry, man. I have the uh, notes on the inside and everything. Uh, next up, we're going to be doing uh, Birth of Venus. Now, this is a very popular one that's out there in the uh, community. And look at that. Just the artistry is so beautiful. And last but not least, we're going to be talking about great name here. Love Triumphs Over War. All right. That's what we're going to be discussing here today all right so they sent me this bag here um and I, and I have samples i've been able to smell things but they sent me the entire line with these new fragrances um in this beautiful bag this argos bag and uh, due to my friends like jared miller um who sent me over uh some argos fragrances you know i definitely appreciate you jared man for allowing me to be introduced um into it so they sent me this card as well argos Probably clash with my studio light you know uh, they have a Christian um, sign the card uh, for sure so just really uh, really dope stuff so Christian is the Christian I don't want to butcher the last name uh, I think it's P, P. Rovich per P. P. Overich but uh, just you know Christian everybody knows Christian the owner of Argo so let's go ahead and jump into it I got my very own Argos tester strips as well so I'm super duper excited all right so first up we're gonna go with uh, Fall of Faton, all right? First impressions, raw impressions, and uh, we're going to see exactly what we're getting, and Argos has absolutely exceptional. So let's get these on a tester. I'm gonna spray it quite a few times, actually, and we're gonna see what we get. Haven't looked up the notes, haven't seen it. I did see Ross and Justin's, ooh, in the air, my God. Ross and Justin Copeland's live stream. So I'm familiar um, with the conversation, but those are the only two I've seen talk about it. Oh my goodness. So I'm getting, it's, it's so, it's so, uh, it's so bold. Fruity, maybe a saffron in here, there's a spice going on. Oh my God, it just smells amazing. So yeah, I'm getting some uh, uh, fruity, spicy, floral um, um, opening with this fragrance. I'd be surprised if saffron is not in here. I'm getting that spiciness that I normally get from when I smell a fragrance that has saffron in it. Quality is bananas. Man, this is really good, man. This is really good. Fall of, I believe it's Faton, I believe. Paton, Faton. I know I'm butchering that probably. But you know what? This kind of gives me a little, a little bit of vibe, a little bit of vibes of um, uh, what is it? A tribe of Bacchus. Let's go ahead and go to the notes, and I put the notes up here on screen. But they have the notes right inside this card here. So, opening notes. Here we go. Like a, 
like a leathery, like a leathery. It's starting to dry down a little bit on paper. I know on skin it's crazy, but let's go. Top notes, we got bergamot, lemon, pink peppercorn, cardamom, and ginger. There's that spice combo right there in the heart. Labdamon, lavender, and argo wood, okay? And in the base, we get some musk, some leather, some tonka bean, and some vanilla. So I'm guessing the combination of the ginger and the pep pink peppercorn and the cardamom is probably giving me what I thought to believe was some saffron. But this is starting to, God, this is beautiful. This is something definitely, man, for the fall, for this season, that I would love to get my hands on. I'm gonna wear that uh, sample out for sure. Give us some full wearings. God, I can't stop smelling it. I can't stop smelling it. So, uh, fall of uh, Patone, I believe, at a perform concentration. Just the notes in here, man. You got your bergamots and lemons, but that pink peppercorn, that cardamom and that ginger giving a beautiful spice in there. Loud of them, lavender, argo wood. I am starting to get this um, uh, leathery, uh, sweet leathery feel to it as well. And I believe that's a combination of the vanilla, the tonka bean. Um, oh, man. This is definitely on my list for sure. This could be my first ever bottle, of a full bottle of Argos. But great stuff here, man. We got two more to get to. Don't want the video to be too long, but this stuff is amazing. Here's uh, the sample again. Um, again, from the house of Argos, man. We have Fall of, I believe it's Patone. Patone. I know I'm butchering that, but I love, I love, love, love that one. Love that one. All right, let's get to the next one. I've heard a lot of conversations about this one. The Birth of Venus. Um, Argos, Birth of Venus. Here's my sample pack. Here's my car. Beautiful artistry once again. So awesome. They might have the best presentation, just art-wise. I don't can't recall, at least from what I've experienced thus far. Can't recall, can't recall. So, Birth of Venus. Now, this one is to be, uh, I guess it's unisex, but from what I've been seeing, a lot of commentary is that it's feminine, all right? So, I do remember, I can't remember what Ross thought about it, but I remember Justin was saying that, you know, he could see he could see where uh, a feminine uh, mindset would come from it, but it's definitely wearable uh, for men as well. All right, especially open-minded, uh, open-minded man who doesn't really categorize himself. If you're talking floors and stuff like that, so let's get this on skin. Birth of Venus. Oh, it's stained the tester. Beautiful orange color. If I can get that in there, if it's going to focus, a little orange color. Ooh. Okay, in the air. This oh, it's so sexy in the air. My God. Come on, man. Dang. It's like a rich, sweet, like like a like a peach, like peach and raspberry. Florals for sure, definitely get florals. But it's so it's so smooth and has nice depth to it. All Argos fragrances that I smell have it. But I'm getting like this peachy raspberry type of vibe. Florals representing here for sure. God, this is sex. I would love. Now, number one, would I wear this? Yes, I would wear this for sure. But number two definitely going to get this over to my wife and see how she feels about it and I would love for her to wear it just to see because my god a woman who was put together confident know she's know she's she's her like we like fellas we him that she knows she's her oh boy all right man so birth of Venus let's get to the note now something's starting to change in here it's like a I don't know what that is. It's, it's kind of like a slight. I don't know what that is, but it's it's like a chalk, like a chocolatey, maybe chocolate, patchouli. It just really just changed. At first, I was getting fruits and florals. Let's get to the notes. Top notes: We get bergamot. There's that peach. We got peach, orange, grapefruit, osmanthus, and lavender. Okay. In the heart, we got Narcissus, which is a flower, jasmine flower, tuberose, violet, iris, all flowers, rose, raspberry, and chocolate. 
and your boy nose is sharpening up. Chocolate, okay. In the base, you get an amber, vetiver, cedar, labdamon, my sorrel sandalwood. There's that smoothness that I talked about. And then cashmere wood. Wow, this is awesome. Now, would I wear this? Yes. It'd be super occasional for me, super situational for me to wear this. Like in the springtime, um, if I'm out and about, like we're talking about like lunch on a dock or a pier or dinner on a pier, something where the where it's very comfortable, maybe fall, uh, during the day, during the fall, I would definitely wear this if we're doing some easy breezy for sure. But I really am interested in what my wife thinks about this. I'm gonna definitely get with her after this video, but Birth of Venus is some sexy stuff. Man, Christian outdid himself with this one. This is very interesting, man. This is very interesting. Wow, okay. All right, so the Birth of Venus smells so sexy, so great. Birth of Venus, here's the card sample once again. Dope, I love the artistry, man. Super dope. Add a perfume concentration. I'm gonna rank these all first impression once we smell all of them. So we have one more uh, to go. Let me put this back in its pack. All right, and last but not least, probably by title alone, this one is, I'm so interested in this. We have Love Triumphs Over War. Look at that. Man, that's dope. Oh, that's dope. I love that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful artistry. All right, let's see what this one is all about, y'all. Oh, no, I tore the thing a little bit trying to get it out of there. It's okay. So they only gave me two Argos strips, so I had to pull one of my own. <laughs> Don't quite got the Argos quality going. But let's see what Love Triumphs Over War is all about. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna give it four sprays just like the other ones because I know I'm not getting them on skin and I already know they're fantastic on skin but on paper I'm still getting a great mm -hmm. okay Ooh, definitely getting a spice there oh this is this is this is on another level from my nose not gonna lie there's a note that I recognize in here. I don't know if it's Osmathis. Os I don't know if that's it. But I'm getting some spices here. Getting some florals here, but I'm not getting much fruit or fruitiness or citrus in here. But there's something in here that I do not recognize outside of it maybe being Osmathis, but I'm definitely getting florals in here and, some, and spice. Smells really, really, really good for sure. But this is very unique, very interesting. Wow, this is this is this is different. Let's go ahead and get to the notes on this one. Um, and I, I love that the notes are inside of the sample card. So here we go. Top notes for love triumphs over war. We have bergamot, lemon, rose, black currant, orange, tu orange and tuberose, and raspberry. Wow. In the heart, violets. That might be what it is. Clove, geranium, gardenia. Iris, Yangling, and cinnamon bark. Ooh, man. Then in the base, you get amber, white musk, patchouli, vanilla, my sorrel sandalwood, and cashmere and wood. So no osmanthus in here, but maybe the combination of certain notes is giving off that vibe to my nose, at least on paper. But that opening, bergamot, lemon, rose, black currant, orange, tuberose, and raspberry. I'm not the biggest fan of tuberoles, but in here it's or yangling. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow florals. And then the tuberoles, not the huge fan, not a huge fan. I do love jasmine and I do love neroli orange blossom. I love those. But the way that this is blended, it's not, it's not alarming me to not like it. I really do like this. This is so interesting and different. Definitely unisex for sure. This is definitely unisex in my opinion. Wow, love triumphs over war. So out of all the three, all of them are all of them are different, and all of them are unique for sure. But love triumphs over war definitely uh, has me kind of tripping a little bit because I don't I don't recognize like like when I first smelled I didn't didn't recognize anything. Now I got the floors correct for sure. Spices in here. What's well you got some cloves in here. And that's really it, but something spicy. Maybe it's the cinnamon bark. The cinnamon bark and the cloves maybe combined giving me a spicy feel, but wow. 
this is super interesting man super super interesting so argos is love triumphs over war really good all right so just our first impressions i'm going to rate these out the rip i like all three um a lot but uh we'll go three two one all right so in third place just off impersonations because uh, not impersonations third place just off of uh me being confused by it, and I'm definitely going to spend some time with so I can get a better handle on all three of these for sure. But definitely this one. A love tries over war. All right. So off my nose, I'm going to give this a solid man, a solid eight out of ten. Eight all of, out eight out of ten. I think it's wearability just off paper. It's there. Unique scent profile, quality, it's so smooth, um, and it's really making me think. So I could definitely see this rising up for sure. But an 8 out of a 10 is an amazing grade in my opinion. So 8 out of a 10 for Love Triumphs or War. Next up, we have Birth of Venus. This stuff is incredibly sexy, super unisex. And did that chocolate come out? Yeah, that chocolate comes out a little bit more as it dries down. Man, good stuff for sure. I'm going to also give this an 8 out of a 10. Eight out, no, no, no. Eight and a half out of a 10 because it's hovering over my nose right now. Hovering just right here. It's right here. And it smells really, really nice. Argos, Christian, job well done. And number one, right now, all this will change, but high ratings for them all. Fall of, I believe it's Patone. No, probably butchering it. I'm giving this a nine out of a 10. This stuff is amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm getting like some hints of some hints of triumph over Bacchus in here. And maybe that's what it is. Ugh, but this is awesome. Nine out of a 10. So all of these high rankings, the House of Argos doing a phenomenal job making crazy movement in the fragrance community, in the fragrance world. And I am a fan. Um, looking forward to getting some full bottles from the House of Argos. I do appreciate the sample pack and the love that Argos sent me. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, I'll definitely will be continuing the coverage of Argos fragrances in my content because one, I'm a fan and two, wow, I just think the word needs to get out about the, the well, it needs to continue to get out about uh, the house of Argos. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. My first, my first true impressions of three of the new fragrances from the house of Argos. Thank you guys so much for sending these over to me. I greatly appreciate it for sure. Um, Y'all know what to do, man. Let me know down below in the comments. Have you had any experiences with Argos? What are your thoughts? What are your concerns? Do you love them? Do you not love them? And are they too hyped? Or are they hot, not hyped enough? Let me know down below in the comments. Until next time, spike it up. Spike it down. Spike it that thing all around. And remember, what you put out into this world, you, is exactly what you are going to get back. All right, appreciate y'all. Y'all know what to do. Splackle! <laughs>